ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் வாட் ஆர் தி சேஞ்சஸ் இன் தி வேர்ஷன் ஃபைவ் டாட் சிக்ஸ் எஸ் ஜேமீட்டர் ஹேஸ் கம் அப் வித் தியர் லேட்டஸ்ட் வேர்ஷன் தி ஃபைவ் டாட் சிக்ஸ் அண்ட் மெனி ஆஃப் தி இஷ்யூஸ் வேர் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் டியூரிங் இன் திஸ் சேஞ்ச் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் in the thread groups and we have a lot of updates in the samplers and the test strip recorder and then again apart from this we have a lot of other general updates and then there are many non functional changes to the jmeter and then some of the changes in the http samplers and the test strip recorder and then with other samplers and then the listeners the timer assertions the report dashboard the documentation and general so today in this video we will see some of the most notable changes and their highlighted changes and not not the entire changes because that will take your entire day but still we will discuss about some of the major the most important changes that has been implemented as part of this particular 5.6 version and i welcome you all to little sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet please do like and share the video with your friends so now let's go to the video so the very first change in the thread group here is the open model thread group where there was an issue in skipping the rows from the csv dataset config so let me show you what exactly has happened so here is the so here i have the apache jmeter 5.5 and then i have the apache jmeter 5.6 the latest version so here in this open model thread group so what has happened in this jmeter 5.5 is so in jmeter version so this is actually the history of this issue so in jmeter version 5.4.3 everything was working smoothly using a standard thread group and the csv dataset config but then you in that version there is a csv file so here again i'm trying to replicate this scenario with the request that they have created so what happened is there is a csv file with 100 users login and password details that are successfully used in the http request but when it is upgraded when the jmeter is upgraded to jmeter 5.5 and when the same third group is implemented in the open model third group and some users were randomly skipped from the list of 100 users and this skipping behavior resulted in inconsistent test results some of you might have experienced this when you were using the open model third group so let me show you what has happened here so here when i start so i have enabled the open model third group and before that let me show you the other way so let me disable the open model third group and this is in version 5.5 and let me enable this so this is the normal thread group and let me run this test for you and before that let me make a quick change this is for a change i made for us another unit testing so let me just oh sorry let me just save this here 5.5 so i have this csv file so here i have the username and password in the same way let me even make the change for 5.6 as well so yes i have to set here so what i'm going to do now is let me run the the thread group the normal thread group in apache jmeter version 5.5 and let's go to the summary report and see what hap- what's happening here so here you can see the user comes in a normal way like it starts with 1 2 and then it goes very normal so none of the users were skipped so here you can very well see that so it's working fine with the version 5.5 so i'm just stopping the test now i'm just clearing everything and then i'm disabling the normal thread group and then when i enable the open model thread group so now we are in the open model thread group and in the version 5.5 so if i run this test so what happens here is so you can see clearly so the same the very same csv file is used but here you can see there is a skipping behavior so this what actually happens is because of running this or because of doing this most of the data were unused and this did not bring out the expected behavior so 
now i think you would have understood what exactly the problem has happened so this has been raised with jmeter and jmeter has come up with the fixed for in the version 5.6 so let me show you the same in 5.6 so here you can see on top we are in apache jmeter version 5.6 and then let me enable the normal thread group the default thread group which we have and let me run so let's see because we have to just check whether this has been working fine in the version 5.6 and let me run the test so if i run the test so automatically you can see here this again is working fine with the previous version so this is again working fine with the latest version so nothing harm so what i'm going to do now is let me again enable the open model thread group so this was the issue that was in the version 5.5 so let me clear all the results and then let me start so now in this you can see automatically all the users were getting loaded and there is no skipping so this is what has happened and this is what has been fixed in version 5.6 and this is a major fix and in fact this was the very first fix that is they have highlighted in the thread group fix uh, this is again an improvement i would say so they have given us an improvement in this version so now coming to the part two so there are other changes but they are not major changes so i'm just moving to the next one which is the http samplers and test script recorder and here we can see there is this caffeine that is being used for caching http headers instead of the common collections lru map so what is this and what was the change that has happened so here you can see in the files changed they have made this change here so in fact this was previously in the collections 4 and here the changes has been done with the collections 4 and when coming to this second part where in the cache manager that java they have imported the caffeine.cache again the same way so they are has been a lot of improvement in the caching part so what is this caching the caffeine caching and what was the caffeine caching and what was the uh, caching that was used before the lru map so in jmeter when performing the http request the, the response header so here we see the caching part so the response headers received from server contains so the HTTP headers, it contains the content type, the cookies, the cache derivatives and more. So in order to optimize the performance and to avoid the redundant operations, JMeter employs a caching mechanism to store and retrieve, retrieve these headers. So previously, JMeter utilized the commons collection for libraries LRU map. So what is this LRU map? So the LRU map is again abbreviated or expanded as least recently used map which implements for caching the http headers and this lru map is a data structure that keeps track of the most recently accessed items and discards the least recently used ones when the cache reaches its capacity so however as part of the improvement jmeter has transitioned from so here we can see it has transitioned from the previous lru map to the caffeine so, so what is the advantage so jmeter what 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 is the benefit that jmeter gets so it benefits from its advanced features such as automatic cache evic eviction strategies by the concurrency support by improving the memory management and the optimizing of performance and this transition in fact aims to enhance the overall caching functionality within jmeter so what is the end result so this results in improving the performance and reliability during the http request execution so overall in summary there is an improvement in jmeter involving replacing the previous commons collections for lru map library with the caffeine for caching the http headers and this change will bring advantage so what is advantage so this will be bringing better performance enhanced concurrency and improved memory management to jmeter's caching mechanism so i would request you to use this caching mechanism and just comment your findings in the comment of this video and that will be helpful for everyone who is using jmeter so thanks very much for that in advance thanks so let me let's check the next improvement 
So the next change that we will see here is the fetching resources referenced in link rel is equal to preload element. So what exactly is this change is talking about? So in web development, the link preload element is used to give a hint to the browser that certain resources, for example, some scripts or style sheets or fonts or images, so that should be loaded in advance even before they are required by the page. And this allows the browser to prioritize and fetch critical resources early by improving the page loading performance. So we can easily understand what exactly is this change is trying to bring to the JMeter. So here you can see the changes here that's been made for the JMeter. So in the earlier versions of JMeter, when executing HTTP requests, JMeter did not automatically handle the fetching of resources referenced in link rel preload. So in fact, this has been added in the latest code. However, in the mentioned chain, JMeter has been enhanced to support this functionality. So with this improvement, when JMeter encounters link rel is equal to preload, the elements in the HTML response, it can automatically fetch the reference resources during the test execution. And in fact, this ensures that the resources specified for preloading are fetched and available, simulating the behavior of modern browsers that proactively fetch such resources and by including this line or this feature jmeter provides a more realistic simulation of the browser behavior during performance testing and it allows for a more accurate assessment of the page loading performance and the impact of resource preloading on overall user experience so to leverage this change we can create a test plan that includes a http request to the web application or website and jmeter will automatically handle the fetching of resources specified again in this preload which is present in the html responses and this enables us to measure and analyze the performance impact of resource preloading on our application under test so again i would request just try with this latest version and comment your experience on it. So let's now move on to the next change. So let me now show you the next improvement or the fix in the latest version, which is the allowing more templates to the format sampler names in the recorder. So I'll just show you what uh, has been changed in both the versions. So here you can see the new variables are updated while recording. So here we have the version 5.5 .5. so what happened here is let me just show you what has happened here so let me open a template a recording just the recording and i'm clicking on create and here i've got the new template here let me enable it and i'm trying to record a website so i'm just trying to record a script and let me show you so here let me start the recording So the recording has started and here just naming the transaction to one and so this is the website name so this is what the request i'm going to get which i'm going to record so which is the www.google.com and this has loaded so if i come back to the jmeter tool so here you can see the protocol is not recorded which is the http or http is whatever it is but here if i'm going to the jmeter 5.6 so let me just show you again here what has happened so what was the change so here let me again create the recording template and then let me enable the scripting and then if i start the recording here again it's going to be the same exact same steps which we did in 5.6 Two. So let me start the recording and I'm again I'm naming the transaction as 01. So there are no 01 so far in the script. And if I go to the browser, the same, the exact same request, which is the www.google.com, and it has been loaded. So if I come back to the 5.6, so here you can see the protocol, which is the HTTP that has been saved. And this is in fact the major difference and in fact you can see this you can anyways you're going to just use 5.6 again so now so you'll understand how it has been improved so this has become 
this has brought in the protocol this has brought in major changes in the samplers and then the next change so let me just i'll just show you this one change so adding keystroke for start no timers which is like uh, entering the control shift n so for example this is in 5.5 .5. so if i press so just see here so if i press control shift n the starting the the starting of the or the running of the test is not started but when i come to the 5.6 and if i press for just control shift and n so automatically this will start the test so if i click on overhead existing files automatically you can see the test has started so this was the change that was made with this add keystroke so anytime when you start wanted to start your test with no timers you can just press control shift and and this is the another improvement that has been brought to the new version the 5.6 so there are various other changes in 5.6 the major version so we will see them one by one in our upcoming video so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like share and don't forget to update or don't forget to tell in the comments how did 5.6 is working for you and how happy are you to use the 5.6 and how do you feel with the jmeter version 5.6 so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from vasanth chanmugam and little slaw